I am excited to do a pregnancy update video because I have never done one before. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant and I feel great. This is my third pregnancy and I am going to be having a baby boy. I currently have Emma, Cooper, and this baby is going to be Porter. Throughout this pregnancy, I have felt really good. I don't get nauseous, I don't get sick, and as far as cravings go, I crave cottage cheese and fruit. I have bought a ton of cottage cheese, but for some reason it just tastes really good to me, just kind of fresh, and I have really liked it, as well as top ramen and the sweets and everything else. I don't get sick, but I do towards the end of my pregnancies, run out of breath. As you'll notice, I feel like I'm out of breath right now. But I will walk up the stairs, and my legs will hurt, and I just have to catch my breath. And that's kind of how it's been with my other pregnancies as well. I have a hard time taking a shower, drying my hair, doing my makeup, without having to sit down and take lots of breaks. Although I'm pretty sure that's pretty common for most people. I can't complain because that's probably about it for me. Really, everything else has been great, so I've been very blessed to have good pregnancies. With my first baby, Emma, I went into labor one week early. This picture was the day I went in and delivered her. I went in for a doctor's appointment and he checked me and said, well, why don't you just head into the hospital and have this baby? And she was born on my mom's birthday. This is a picture of me pregnant with Cooper one week before I delivered him. He came 11 days early. So I may go into labor early with this third baby. We will have to see if it follows the trends of the first two kids, I may be having an early baby. I still have to pack my hospital bag, paint my toenails, do Emma's nails, do some cleaning. I've got a huge list of cleaning to do, but I've started check marking things off that list. One major thing that we've already done is redone the bedrooms. Emma was in the big room and Cooper was in the small room, but we've switched them around. And I will now show you the footage with changing the rooms. Since we're having baby number three in April, it's going to be a boy. We are. We've been trying to decide how we want to do the sleeping arrangements and we have decided to bunk the two boys together which means they get the big room and we're going to move Emma to the smaller room and have her by herself. So I hope that the baby and Cooper learn to sleep well together. We are going to take Emma's bed and dresser and put it in this room and put this stuff in the big room. So. Hopefully it goes smooth, we will see. so cute and with his PayPal money he bought me some blankets that he knew I really wanted the Aiden and Anais blankets um, but we're gonna have troubles here because this little kid thinks that they're his I showed him and look how excited he is Cooper is this your brother's blanket should I take it away <laughs> see look he's so sad you don't want me to take the blanket away it's your brother's we have to wash them. Yeah, they're they're for be, yeah, baby brother. And I bought some fabric. It's I bought some fabric to make a few little baby items that I will show you later. 
Okay, so I think the rooms are pretty much ready to go for now. This is what we've done, or our final product. So this will be the two boys' rooms. I painted the clock red, and we'll get some pictures to go in those picture frames. I kind of did it red and blue, just because I thought it was kind of fun. But I made the, the rail for the crib. And he likes like that. We've got some blue curtains. I need to figure out a way to tie them back though, because I like my rooms to be bright. But we've got the changing pad cover made up. The only thing I need is some new bedding to go with his, so we don't have this old floral blue bedding. And got my boppy pillow ready to go. And I'm debating between either making a new like red or blue cover for this or getting a lazy boy so it's a little bit more comfortable at nighttime to yeah, sleep in. So this is the boys' room. Oh, and I painted this shelf red. They've got a picture of the temple and their piggy bank. Or that's Cooper's piggy bank. So this is the boys' room. And this is Emma's room. She's got her little bed there. Her clock. That's me. I'm gonna change that up after I get some pictures done. We need family pictures taken and then we'll... That's me. Yep, that's Boy. Emma when she was little. She's got her hair bows. That's me. And then in here she's got a little thing of toys. Most of her toys go downstairs, but that's she's me. got a few things up here. So... Yeah, that's me. Sorry, Tyler. Cooper's already locked himself in his room. I almost forgot to mention, just because I have the crib and the bed set up, Cooper is still going to sleep in the crib because he doesn't because he does not try and climb out, and so I'm not going to put him in the bed yet. But the bed is here and it's ready to go when I'm ready to transition him. So until Cooper moves to that bed, the baby will sleep in the bassinet next to me. I still need to pack my hospital bag. I've got the diaper bag and I've got my robe. I've got my new pajamas. I've got my nursing cover that I made. Landon bought me my Aiden and Anais blankets and I'm so excited. We have a coming home outfit that little outfit. We've got hats, socks. We've got all those burp rags I made for Cooper. And if this kid is anything like the other two babies, then I will need those burp rags because my baby spit up a ton. So this will be where the baby sleeps until I move him into there. So now that the rooms are all ready to go, I have to pack my bags. Here are a few pictures of this pregnancy. And now for a belly shot. Okay, so here is my belly at 37 weeks pregnant. And I've never done a bare belly shot, but here we go. Ellie, if you're brave enough to do this, then so am I. This is what my belly looks like. I am starting to get stretch marks. There you have it. 37 weeks pregnant, and I'm about to go to my doctor's appointment to see if I've dilated or not. And I'm so excited to have baby Porter here with us. And... Thank you so much for watching.